Hello and welcome everyone, this is Kalevovich coming to you with another video for Raid Shadow Legends. This time around, instead of talking about strategy, I'm going to be doing something a bit more technical for the game, and that is how to set up multiple accounts on your PC without having to use any outside help from programs such as Bluestack, Sandboxy, etc. Just by using the Plarium Play client, seriously. It is doable, or at least it has been doable for me. And once again, I would like to thank one of my viewers, Andy Forever, who guided me towards this answer. So this is for the PC users. So obviously you can use Bluestacks, you can use all those others, uh, other programs, and they give you some benefits. For example, Bluestacks allows you to uh, do some uh, macroing, to some auto-clicking, to uh, switching the FPS value to make your artifact enhancement faster, etc., etc. But if you just want to run multiple instances of Raid Shadow Legends on your PC, because for example, you have your main account, you have your free-to-play account, or you are doing uh, a takeover for someone. Uh, this is, in my opinion, a much, well, I'm not, I wouldn't say it's much easier to do, but it's, uh, from what I've seen, it takes a much lower uh, tax on your computer. As I've uh, tried streaming with Bluestacks uh, open, on my PC. Uh, apparently I was dropping some frames. With this method I am not, so I'm going to show you what can be done. So first of all you open your Plarium Play client on your PC and you have to obviously launch the game. So it takes a moment and the game launches and soon you will see your Bastion. And let's skip all the offers. Um, okay, so after clicking for the usual stuff and the usual stuff, uh, so y you cannot just go to Plarium Client, uh, Plarium Play Client, and you cannot run this game once again because it says running. Uh, if you try to log out by, for example, resetting cache, it will close the game for you. If you close Plarium Play, you cannot open the Plarium Play client again when this one is open. And this Raid Shadow Legends uh, window is linked directly to Plarium Play. So for example, if you close this one, uh, for example, by right-clicking on your uh, on the Plarium Play and choosing, uh, this is a bit off screen, but choosing to exit, then you log out. So that is not the way to do it. In order, in order to be able to run multiple instances of Plarium Play without using any outside software, what you have to do is you have to delink the Plarium Play client from the Raid Shadow Legends instance. And in order to do that, let me show you. Well, first of all, obviously, you need to open up your client. You need to run your game. And you have to wait until the game fully loads and you can see your Bastion. All right. So give it a moment. Handle the response. Sign in. Be responsible. Sign in, but use your own pen. Load your assets, all of them. Start every service and welcome to the realm of Teleria. Okay. So once again, we have the, the account, everything is set, the offers are bad, etc, etc. So what you have to do to delink one instance from the other is you have to run Task Manager. And the keyboard shortcut for that is Control, Shift, Escape. Okay, so this is your Task Manager. It's in Polish, but I believe you will get what, it, what is going on. And the funny thing is, if you go to the Plarium Play client, not Raid Shadow Legends, not OBS from which I am uh, right now recording this, but if you go to the Plarium Play client and you close the task completely, you see that the Plarium Play client is no longer with us. You have to make sure that there is nothing called Plarium Play here at all. And then you have to open up Plarium Play client again. 
right now the the play client and raid shadow legends is not linked okay so we have your player and play client again now what you have to do is you have to log out from your account here by for example using set settings reset cache clear now it takes a moment but it re-enters the Plarium Play client. And over here, you have to log in to the second account. I will obviously skip over me logging into that for security purposes. Okay, and now I am logged into Sweet Caleb, my Sweet 18th tournament account. So this is raid client, uh, raid window on my main account. This is Plarium Play, not linked to that account. That account is not linked to Plarium Play at all whatsoever. My library, and here you launch the game again. You can, uh, you can minimize this window now. Obviously, I have to wait to enter the realm of Teleria by loading assets, starting services, etc. And what you can see here is you are logged in to a different account, right? This, this, is, this is the main one, Kalebovich, and this is the tournament account, Sweet Caleb, where we also enter the market and see that there is nothing there. Okay, seems easy, right? Okay, so there are a couple of things that you should know. First of all, you might, when you're running two instances of the Raid Shadow Legends uh, window, client, whatever, uh, on PC from Plarium Play, you might see a bit of lagging here or there because both of them are using the resources of your PC and they are taxing it a bit. Second of all, if you are a streamer or if you're using an OBS type software, uh, both windows have the exact same name. So when I was streaming by using this with, while using this technique, I had a slight problem because at one time it was choosing one window, another time it was choosing the other window, but I found out how to uh, how to choose the correct window. There is a little trick that I'm just going, I'm not gonna show you, I'm just going to tell you what it is. So in order, uh, for example, you, you have a scene set and you want this one to be your active window, your active raid window. So you click on it, you make sure it is the more, more recent active window you switch a scene and you switch back to the scene, uh, to your raid scene, and there you should have it. Next, if you, for example, need to switch uh, switch the view to, to the other account, you click on the window with your other account, you change scene and you change scene back and it should be good again for the active window. So it looks for the, the more recent active window, whether you use it with keyboard shortcuts, whether you use it with uh, something like a stream deck or whether you're using it by clicking on a different scene in your OBS. So yes, I believe these are the, uh, I believe these are most of the things that uh, uh, that should help you uh, to just run multiple instances of Raid Shadow Legends on your PC without using any external software such as Bluestacks or Sandboxy. This, is, this was just a short video, tr me trying to help the community, and I hope you enjoyed the short explanation. If you have any questions, you can either ask me in the comments below, or there is a link to my Discord where you also can find me on in odd hours of day and sometimes even night, depending on the cat, whether she wakes me in the middle of the night or not. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, remember, click on subscribe. But for now, this is going to be it. Kalevovich, out.